Hey guys, it's John with Rublo Custom Rods, and welcome back to another edition about the truth about hitting a Versa Blend. And as you can see here, we've got this green thread that we're using. I've done a video, you can see that up here in the upper right hand corner if you're interested uh, in seeing the first video that I did on this. And then today we're going to work on incorporating some trim bands, fade wraps, and some other stuff like that. So let's go ahead and get this uh, wrap started a little bit more. And I'm just kind of building up a little bit of base here so I've got something to compare to um, as I kind of work through the process. So uh, what I'm going to do is start looking uh, for some threads here that I could, might want to incorporate. And I'm going to go with this 101 color fast, which is yellow. And what we'll do here is get a piece of this cut um, and we'll put this in here. Tape it down. Top end, down on the running end. And then what we'll do is um, we'll go ahead and um, once I get this taped it here, I'll go ahead and lock this down with some wraps, usually five to seven wraps, usually what I like to do just to kind of lock that thread down. And then I'll go ahead and remove the tape or loosen the thread from the tape. And then what we'll do is I'm going to hold both of these in one hand and use my finger on the other to slide them together um, to get the, uh, you know, to bring them down so they're side by side. And as you can see here, you can kind of see it, is, it looks pretty good. I, I think I kind of like this look. Um, this is, I think I like this yellow with this green. It looks really kind of interesting. And I, I'm glad that I tried this color here. Um, but it looks good. You can see the yellow and then you can see it, it, it lets some of that green come through and some of that black come through. And what we'll do is just go ahead and start to lock this down with this other piece of thread here. And then we'll burnish that down or pack the threads with our burnishing tool. And then come back. Tighten that up, and then we'll just pull that line tight like that. And just get a couple more wraps just to lock that down. And what we'll do is we'll just cut that working end off. And then a couple more wraps just to cover that piece up. And so you can kind of see what that, uh, what that looks like there. I, that's, I like that. You can, again, you can really see the black come through, but it kind of mutes out the green, but you can see it. And it almost makes the green a little bit more yellow uh, because they're very, you know, closely, um, you know, the two colors are closely aligned, if you will. Um, but I like the pattern that you're getting there. And of course, you get the straight lines across. And now I'm going to pull out this 543, which is uh, size A Pro Wrap Nylon, uh, just regular green or forest green. But again, that was that was 43. We're going to cut a piece here, slip this underneath. Same thing we did with the yellow one. We're going to tape down the one end and then move out with the tape down the, the working end or the running end, if you will. And we'll just take a few wraps to lock this down. And then we'll free up our thread here. <clears throat> and then we'll, we'll, uh, Again, hold them together and I'll slide them in, you know, one hand holding them side by side, making sure that they, they stay on the same side. Like I want the green to stay on the right of the metallic versus thread. So what I'll spin this around. We can kind of see the pattern there. It makes it a bit more green. You can still see the black and the green and the silver, but then you have these straight lines of that, that darker green. And that's kind of an interesting look as well. And that's the great thing about this, man. Like you guys, you can really try anything. You know what I mean? Even if the colors are completely opposite, um, you know, you can always try to see, you know, what kind of pattern you can get out of it or what kind of look that you can get out of it. I'm going to lock this down uh, with a few wraps. I'm going to go ahead and pull that green one back up to the top and get ready to cut it here with my razor blade. Lock it down first. Oh, let me back that up. There we go. 
a couple more wraps just to make sure I got it nice and tight. And then I'll come back and cut that thread. And then a few more wraps just to go over that piece there. And then you can see really that straight lines with that yellow and then it straight lines with the green. Uh, you can see them in there. It's, it's, it's pretty neat. Pretty, really pretty neat, I think. I think it gives you an interesting look. But I, I really like this yellow um, because it almost makes the yellow green or the green yellow, however, whichever way you want to say it. Um, you know, it's kind of the way it looks, I think. And now we got color fast, or excuse me, color 455, which is uh, blue nylon size A. So we'll cut a piece of that. <clears throat> and then uh, once we get this thread cut here, we'll go ahead and bring it underneath my Versa metallic thread. Get both ends taped down. And then we'll start wrapping. And you can kind of think through the madness here, right? Yellow and blue make green. Green and blue make yellow. So you think about the colors. Uh, you know, that we, that we go back and forth with, um, you know, excuse me, yellow and blue make green, um, but that those colors, you know, are, are complementary, so they look good. And I, that's why I really kind of chose these first three with the yellow color fast, the green nylon, and now this blue nylon that I'm wrapping in here. And you can see this blue nylon stands out a bit more um, than that green nylon did, um, just again, because it's darker. It's not a similar color, so it does so it does stand out a bit. But you can see, um, you know, as, as I'm wrapping here, let me get just a little bit further. And you can see here where the green and black, um, you can still see very well, and yet you have these blue stripes in it. Let me lock this down. Cut it with my razor blade. You see, I don't have my tension rod super tight. That's why I'm kind of being careful here when I cut the thread. All right, so we have yellow, we have green, nylon thread. You can see those straight lines in there and how it really it gives it a, that extra green, gives it a different color. Then we have the blue here. Um, and again, di different, different look. Um, and a completely different really from the color fast yellow um, that I had. So there, metallic green, uh, Pro Wrap 9510. And I suspect that this metallic thread will probably, I don't know, but will probably give it some sort of monofilament look. That's kind of been the trend with this metallic thread you know, on these last few video videos that, uh, that I've been making. But we'll get this tied in. You get this tape on here and then put the tape down here. I'll we'll give it a few spins, lock this down. All right. So unwind this from the rod blank, remove the tape. Again, hold them side by side. And this is probably going to be pretty hard to see, I think. But it's going to give an effect to it is, is what I'm thinking. And, and you can kind of see right here. We can see some of that metallic green in there. I'll keep wrapping. Again, very, you know, very similar because there's already metallic green in here. Um, so we're, we're just adding something that's slightly darker a little bit. And you can kind of see that in there. So that's what I'm talking about. It gives that monofilament look. To me, I mean, that's just what I call it. I, I, I think it resembles a monofilament look. I'll just keep wrapping. Get a few more wraps on here. Use the rest of this thread. All right. There we go. Wrap that over, a few wraps, pull that line back up, a couple more, and we'll go ahead and cut that working in with our razor blade. All right, and you can see really that, that green in there, and that's why I kind of say it gives that monofilament look, 
Um, I don't know if that's the right word, but that's what I equate it to because it, it gives it kind of that, that even though it's metallic, it gives it that color. Then of course the blue, green and the yellow. Now we're going to go ahead 9800 metallic black. Um, pretty interested to see what this is going to do. The black that's already in this thread um, is not metallic. It's just kind of a black nylon thread, right? Um, and now we're going to tie in this black piece, um, size A. And so I suspect it's going to give possibly a monofilament look to it, um, possibly make the black really stand out um, in that thread. But we'll see here as we get started and start turning this. Yeah, so you can definitely see that black thread in there. It makes it definitely makes it a little bit more prominent. Now we give it a few more turns. Yeah, it's kind of interesting. So it definitely makes the black more prominent, but then you have these these straight lines. You know, uh, as we're looking at the row, we have these straight vertical lines where the Versa thread kind of gives you these horizontal patterns. Um, although they cascade up and down, they give you these horizontal patterns. So you can definitely see here that how that black really stands out, but yet you can still see the green and just a little bit of that silver there. A few more turns, pack this down. Cut this with the blade. Wrap that off a little bit. Yeah, okay. So now what we're going to do, I think, um, is we're going to go ahead and get another color. And I'm thinking, not sure what I want to do here. Bam, gold, 9160. It's a light gold, um, pro wrap metallic. So we're going to cut a piece here. Um, and I'm not sure what this is going to look like, and I'm hoping it's going to look really good. Um, it may be similar because of the metallic silver that's in there, so it's kind of close, but I'm hoping this light gold really does something kind of interesting for, uh, for this wrap here. A few wraps. Lock it down. We'll go ahead and unwrap the thread from the blank on the other end that you can't see here. Remove the tape. All right, now we're going to pinch these two of the finger and then slide with the other finger. All right. Oh, I kind of like this. Kind of like this. Yep. I, I think I like this light gold color mixed with this green. That's kind of a neat look right here. I think that's the best look. Besides maybe the yellow and the green, the regular green nylon thread down here, I think this gold is probably the better um, uh, of the six threads that we, that we put on here. So let me know what you guys think down in the comments box. What do you think? The yellow, the green, the blue, the green metallic, the black metallic, or this light gold metallic? Which one do you think looks the best? I'll lock this off a little bit. A couple wraps. Burnishing tool, pack the thread, a few more wraps, and we'll cut this working end off. There we go. And then wrap that around. And what we'll do is we'll just go ahead and tie this off here. A 
a few reps, five to seven reps, whatever you like. I try not to go any less than five, probably usually no more than seven or eight. Run that through. All right, we'll take our razor blade, cut that running in off. Remove the tape down here. Let's cut these working ends off. Gold, the black, metallic green, the blue nylon, the green nylon, and the yellow color fast. Just burnish that out a little bit. And there we go. Now we can see what we have. So that's what they look like. Again, we did uh, the yellow, right, which was color 101, as you can see here. Color Pro Rep or Color Fast Pro Rep. 543, the green nylon. Then we did the blue at 455 nylon. Uh, all three of these so far have been size A. Um, the metallic 9510 by Pro Rep. Green. The black 9800, metallic black. Uh, and then this light gold color here. Um, and that was 9160. So what do you guys think? Again, yellow, green, blue, black, gold, all these colors. I'm just running my fingers by. Uh, what, which ones do you guys think looks best down in the comments block? Uh, as always, I hey, appreciate you guys, your, your guys' continued support um, to the channel, Real Blue Custom Rods. Uh, make sure you guys watch this next video here. And until next